heading off to a meeting with Saffron Hall, which is where I did a gig, or a really successful gig, last Friday evening. One of the lessons I wish I'd learned earlier on in my career, especially when it came to my own band, was that the gigs that really count, the gigs that you keep on doing that are successful, that are long-term gigs, and actually in one sense take less work, stay with me while I explain that, are those where you form a good relationship with the venue, really, or the management, whatever. Because what I mean by less work is whilst they generate more work for you and you do more gigs and you, you, know, you do more concerts with these people or generate more income with these people, I found that the gigs that tend to be one-off, two-offs where I've really had to lean on a venue or really sold hard and worked really hard to secure that gig have tended to not yeah sometimes fail sometimes just the venue are not that into it you're more passionate about it than they are and what tends to happen is they can they kind of treat it like they're doing you a favor by giving you a gig and that's never a good way for it to be if i could go back 15 years ago to when i first started hustling for my own gigs i would have spent more time developing relationships with other musicians and with venues than necessarily going from one venue to the next, one venue to the next, one venue to the next. I was saying this before the meeting, I hope the meeting will be a good success and I'll see you on the other side of it and be able to tell you some happy stuff. The meeting went well, can't tell you too much about it at the moment. A bit different from what I expected, but it was good, it was positive. So heading back home now and I'm gonna show you this new Hercules saxophone stand. I do like Andrew Neil. He really doesn't take any crap off politicians. Uh, daily politics. It's kind of one of my geeky, guilty pleasures. Um, I know the Queen likes it. And there you go. There's a little thing. She likes watching it with Debonya and gin. I don't have any gin. Well, I do, but I'm not drinking it at 12 o'clock. <laughs> So, as promised, the new Hercules saxophone stand, and let's do an unboxing. So, I've already got a Hercules stand for my tenor, and I had, one second, I've had this one for a while for my alto, but on Sunday this happened. Oh, it fell out, anyway. I also don't like this because this can come loose, and the stand is just, it feels a bit flimsy, it's a and m and uh, yeah, well look. You can see if I, that shouldn't lay, it should lay flat. Anyway, so this one apparently, the great thing about this Hercules stand is it has this spring-loaded thing for holding the uh, bell of the saxophone. So let's see what it does with my Iani 991. Okay, that shouldn't move like that really. <laughs> Maybe I need to move that up there a little bit. Or actually even just keep the case, keep the stand on the table. Anyway, that looks, that looks pretty cool. Let me see if you can... Whoa! Let's zoom out a little bit. So, 
Yeah, it basically, it clamps around the saxophone and as I pull it off, can you see that? Maybe I can adjust that a little bit there. I'm just supposed to push down, I'm to release. Okay, that's basically it, I think. It just pushes on. This is the auto grip system, AGS stand. So there we go. Um, first impressions, yeah, pretty positive. Not, uh, it's a Friday afternoon, I think. So the only thing is, this is a bit wobbly. Don't like that. Um, as with all Hercules stands, it's pretty sturdy. You know, it, obviously it's on the table at the moment, but it doesn't get the feeling, you don't get the feeling like I do with some of the other stands. Oops, gone away there. That the slides just kick or knock the stand over, and if you watch this video, you'll find out what I did when I knocked my Mark VI over. Um, so yeah, this feels pretty secure. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, does this, I suppose it's kind of stopping it accidentally falling off. Don't worry, I've got... It's not going to fall far, I hope. But, um, yeah, so I, get, I can see the uh, added advantage. It goes wide and then it goes short. Okay, we'll see how we go with it. I tend to keep um, these Hercules stands in my studio. I don't tend to take them on the road with me because they're quite... They're not bad. I mean, obviously, they fit in that box, but the little tiny ones that are supposed to go in the belt, which never do go in my belt, but go in my gig bag, they tend to be a little, a little bit... They seem a bit easier to tour around with. Um, I suppose if I take this down, let's put my other two down. Oh, a little little bag for your stand. Now that's quite clever. Do you know what? I might take this on gigs with me, especially if I'm playing alto. Obviously, that is not bad at all. Okay. That could easily drop in a gig bag. And I like the way it's nice and bright and yellow, which means I'm not gonna lose it. And when I'm looking around at the end of the gig going, oh, where's all my, where's my stand, where's my stand? Because there are literally, in the UK, I would say at least 15 music stands or saxophone stands that I have owned that have been left behind in various concert halls, jazz clubs, pubs, churches, cathedrals. So I'm very keen to make sure I keep hold of them because being a jazz musician, I don't earn enough money to keep losing saxophone stands. I'll see how I get on with it. This is not a paid product endorsement. I bought this um, out of my own fair money. So we'll see how we get on with it. It's not even a comprehensive review. It's just a review. Um, I do like, I do that look of it. I wonder how we're gonna get on. For now, it will stay in the studio and it will look after my alto. So right now I'm near the end of my Cambridge Saxophone Students Christmas video. It's taken hours to edit it. I've got a couple of little things I need to add to it. At the moment I'm trying to decide if I'm in, I'm probably not going to. I was going to put names next to everyone in the lower third boxes, um, but it's just taking forever to line everything up. So I'm actually probably not the best idea to have everybody's name on it. So I am going to crack on. I'll put the Santa hat there, that might give you a little giveaway as to what's on the video because I promise the world it will be released Saturday morning. So please excuse me while I crack on and in the meantime have a listen to this. <laughs>